Hi everyone, this is Aditya. Today our session is all about Cucumber and how we can implement it using the Java Selenium Old Draper. So in this tutorial, we will look into first what is Cucumber, what is the BDD framework, then setting up Cucumber in Eclipse, then how to set up Cucumber in Maven this project, then what is JFin and what is the feature file. So first coming to the Cucumber, what is Cucumber? Cucumber is a popular Java-based automation testing tool that supports behavior-driven development. Uh, we can say it is BDD framework. And it also defines the application behavior using simple English text that is called JFin language. I will come to it later, but let me tell you first what is the BDD framework. Okay. So BDD framework stands for Behavior Driven Development Framework. So as the name suggests, here we are emphasizing on the application behavior application feature. It can be said as an extension of the existing TDD framework. I hope you guys are already aware of the what is TDD framework. So TDD framework is stage driven development framework. So in that development framework, in that framework approach, the basically the testing part drives the development. So it's from developer perspective, what exactly we want the system to do. Okay. We emphasize on that, on that many devices. So in that framework, if we uh, unzip the definition, we can see there's a totally five step we will find associated with it. The first step, when you are going to build any software applications, initially we will write some test cases or test for that applications. Next step will be we will run those tests to see how the test case is failing and what things we need to implement. Of course, at the time, the second step, every step should got a fail because we haven't implemented any features or any code, right? The third step is the main step of the TD framework when we will be writing our own code and implement it and we will run our test. And if the code is right, we will see the subsequent tests are getting passed. And after the test getting passed, we need the refactoring process. In that refactoring process, we'll commit the code, we'll add some comments, or we'll add some new feature files. Okay. So in that process, the whole loop, the TDD framework will continue. Okay. So we can say it like TDD framework. In this framework, so everything. I mean the software the application we are going to build must pass through the test if it is passed through the test successfully then you can say that the build is successful okay so now come to the what is BDD and um, I, I I need I want to tell you something the TDD only gives the developer an idea an understanding of what the system exactly should do nothing else okay and it also encourages the technician to design as little as needed but here comes the chapter of BDD. So BDD is an extension of the TDD framework that can be said as a customer oriented approach. It's unlike TDD, here the developer and the customer working together on the requirement analysis on the feature on the application behavior. So in case of BDD, it can be said as a TDD, including the incremental requirement analysis. So what does that mean? So Whenever, whenever the any applications, the software we are going to build, we'll first look into what the feature, what the expected behavior, what the behavior we are expecting from a as a end end user perspective. Okay, so it is always customer oriented. So let me summarize what is BDD. So in BDD, we can tell that it's emphasized on each feature or behavior of the application rather than testing all the single models of the applications. And it also will look into adding a good feature coverage instead of the test coverage, what we do in TDD. And comparing the TDD, it is more advanced and more focused, understanding what needs to be carried out from the perspective of end user. Okay. So now I will show you how to add it in the Eclipse, how to set up the Cucumber BDD framework in Eclipse. So let's go back. To set up Cucumber in Eclipse, we need to download cucumber jar files so you can download it from here also i will prefer maven repository you can download it from java2s.com or you can also download it from the maven repository personally i prefer download it from the maven repository okay so uh, for the cucumber setup i have already downloaded these files in my local machine Here is the jar file, Cucumber Core, Cucumber Core Resource Sources, HTML, Java, JUnit, JVM Depth, and Jerkin. Those jar files need to be downloaded. Okay. So you can just cross check once like Cucumber Core.
चेक द लेटेस्ट वर्षन वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फाइव इस वर्षन एंड क्लिक ऑन द डाउनलोड जार यू कैन डाउनलोड द जार इन लोकल मशीन दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू सेट अप इन द एक्लिस प्रोजेक्ट ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोड दिस फाइल्स नाउ आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट हाउ टू एडिट इन द क्लिप्स लेट मी गो बैक टू माय क्लिप्स फर्स्ट यू टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट हियर आई एम नेमिंग इट एज ए कोकुम्बर कांसेप्ट ओके सॉरी नॉट हियर java project cucumber concept okay click on next go on next okay this is the file has been created and just finish it remember my decisions yes Okay, so I mean uh, we have already created this project. Now, from this project, I am going to add those Java files what we have downloaded. Okay, so go to the project properties, go to the Java build path, and libraries. From the libraries, we have to add the external jars. My external are located in Cucumber Java files, so select all that. Open and apply. See, uh, those jar files got added. Yeah. See. So now from here, I'm going to create. First, going to create a new feature file. That's the base of Cucumber language. Okay. Cucumber, not sorry, sorry. File. I'm going to name it as a like uh, cucumber. Dot a feature. Then finish. so this is our first uh, cucumber feature file i mean let me show you on um, this is the uh, basically implemented on jekyll language that language you basically use in cucumber and uh, we can see that uh, the jekyll language basically i mean it's based on some keyword like given and when and everything is simple simply written in english like given in one scenario has been given like title what about the title you have uh, you want i mean what are the expected behavior your feature you want to automate and uh, this will be given this way okay I mean, uh, you can also add comment here. Uh, you can uh, do the parameterization. You can uh, in, include data tables here also. Like I'm showing you for my feature files. This is my feature files. Okay, this feature file will do what? Like this is a simple feature file which do the user registration in the Markdown flight site. Okay, so what I'm doing in this feature file? This is a scenario I'm naming it as a single user registration. So when I'm when the registration fails getting this state, then I'll be able to provide the value details like details registration details I'll be providing. Then click on the submit button and thank you for registering should be displayed. Then user clicks on the log off, then close the browser. So this is a simple feature file that I have written and implemented it. Uh, this is totally based on the JQL language. I will come to it later. Okay. So uh, after creating the Cucumber feature file, one thing you have to note that uh, If you create it without the Eclipse Cucumber plugin, then you will get it normal. Now, I mean, like this way, you will get. Okay. So apart from that, installing, you also have to do one thing. Like go to Windows. Sorry, go to Help. Then install new software. Okay. Uh, yeah, that Cucumber Eclipse plugin. That plugin you have to use. Okay, make sure of that. 
whenever you are adding cucumber jar files and creating some cucumber feature files make sure you are adding the cucumber eclipse plugin and you can add it you can add it by navigating to this website okay so after adding it what basically it will do it will highlight whatever the syntax in the jQuery language it will simply highlight that will be more understanding to the user if you do not use this plugin it won't create any problem but it will come as a normal text got it so uh, here i have successfully created the cucumber feature file for setting up a cucumber project and there is another way to create a cucumber uh, i mean cucumber um, project in uh, for maven user also uh, for maven user here we have explicitly added those cucumber files here okay so now i'm going to add those files creating a maven project and add those files in the reference form xml file and those will get downloaded automatically now i'm going to show you so what are we going to do we are going to, going to create a new project for maven user i'm going to create a maven project okay so um let me on the next next so let me name it as a cucumber maven demo rest of the things will be same you don't need to bother about it so our cucumber maven demo maven based project has been created and if you open it here you will get a file like form xml file there's a page update model xml file so if you are a maven user i know you are already aware of that file what the form xml user um, form xml file will do it will sim whatever the dependency will add it will simply add it to the project repository okay so uh now i'm going to show you how to add the cucumber form file uh, cucumber form files here so uh, if you want to add those uh, if you do not want to download these jar files and just simply want to add it to the cucumber you can just download this i mean copy this dependency from the maven repository and you have to paste the dependency in the form xml file okay for my separate project i have implicitly created one let me show you those files those dependency i have already had it before okay let me copy from my previous one okay so uh under the dependency sections i'm going to add see initially we don't have any uh, jar file associated with it right for maven dependency we only have jvn 3.1 jar file and jr is default sources file are there now i'm going to add the cucumber jar file also here sorry this is uh, yeah so in the dependency sections i'm going um those jar files uh, make sure this is the i mean uh, for comment section we basically do this way so those dependencies i have added and after clicking on the save button uh yeah just give it some time it will get added so uh see now i mean those dependencies get added we don't have to explicitly import all those files if we just mention in the form file it will get automatically added okay and j unit version 3.4.1 i'm making it as a 4.12 let me save it okay so i just let me refresh my project so see uh, for this maven dependency uh, jvnit 3.8.1 has been replaced by jvnit 4.12 and hamcrest code is the default that has been uh, incorporated with jvnit 4.12 version so next thing i'm going to do uh, uh, let me create one uh, feature file for that file Mm, name it as a demo dot feature okay 
so i have created the demo feature files here also for the maven base project it will uh, the same thing we have created for the normal this project where we have explicitly imported those jar files from our local system and for maven base project i have mentioned whatever the dependence we need to add in the pom excel file it will get automatically added okay so in the next sessions i will cover uh, the basic script of the basic uh, writing a basic scenario basic script and uh, step definition classes of the cucumber sessions so that's all for today uh, let me know if you have any issues thank you for watching